Yo, bro, tell me what's going on. What's up, Bobby? Um, we are about to go to T High School. Um, we get to go there on Thursdays for a couple hours for um, two lunch periods. So just getting ready for that. So in T, um, we have uh, about, an, on average, about 120 students who meet every week. Um, they're divided in two, so they meet in two separate lunches. And it's really just a place to build their faith. Um, some students are encountering Jesus for the first time. They have a lot of questions, but it's a really cool space for um, students to grow in their faith and learn about God. A typical tea lunch looks like, um, well, I have some awesome volunteers. So there's about three or four of us that show up and we get the classroom ready. Um, got somebody that picks up pizza. I usually pack up the pop here uh, to bring, and then we gotta kinda transform a classroom. 70 some students that attend a single lunch, and then the next lunch, about the same amount. They actually automatically just kinda group up into um, teams or uh, disciple making groups, and they um, go over highs and lows, they go over the scripture, and then they go over those questions that um, I put on the paper that we saw earlier. So they all end their time in prayer and it's really cool because you get to see like around the whole uh, classroom students praying over each other. You know, something uh, that I'm super excited about that's happening in T is that this is student led um, and that they are passionate about learning more about God. There's even some juniors and seniors that they are allowed to leave campus for these two lunch periods, but they actually stay on campus for lunch and hang out with us um, because they're wanting to learn more about God and wanting to get more um, of that in their life. And uh, something else is that I've seen a lot of discipleship happen between um, juniors, seniors, and freshmen um, and sophomores. So just the intermingling of one group not leaving actually creates that cool discipleship. Tea lunch and its growth has been awesome to see firsthand because when I kind of started helping out at T, there was about 40 students involved and um, it was really awesome to see that there was 40 students involved, but over the last year and a half, the Lord has just like shown his hand on the whole thing. He's caused the growth. The students have really found collision in their school to be a unifying thing. Um, they can see who else is a believer in their school they get to pray for each other and i think because of that like peace they feel when they attend um a place full of other believers um yeah they enjoy it so they want to invite more of their, more of their friends there was a scripture verse that we were going over and it was talking about um i believe it's romans 10 9 that um if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that jesus is lord um make him lord king of your life like you have eternal life and um, a student was reading that and there was about six of them there and th they had asked a question like have you all made that confession before have you with your mouth said Jesus is Lord and five out of the six said they had never actually asked Jesus to be the Lord and King of their life even though they would say they were believers. And so the one, but then one out of the six said, I have, I've done that before. I've prayed that prayer and I've made Jesus the Lord King of my life. And so then I totally just encourage her. I said, if you want to lead the other five in a prayer right now, um, to make that their decision, um, that would be amazing. And so she did, she just, they all, you know, close their eyes and pray and she prayed for them and they repeated and all five of them had made that decision right then and there to make Jesus Lord and King of their life and to like actually say it with their mouth and confess and say, you know, I'm sorry for my sins and I want to make Jesus my Lord.